Jennifer Weaver. I'm Elizabeth Bryan. And we're here today to give Clemson's international student body a crash course on everything that happens on an exciting Clemson game day. Right now, we're standing in front of our very own football stadium, Death Valley, which is the center of all the game day action. It may seem quiet now, but you may not even recognize this place on game day with all the excitement and commotion going on from the large crowds. In the next several minutes, our mission is to inform Clemson's international student body of the game day traditions here on campus, such as Howard's Rock, The Hill, Tailgating, Tiger Band, Orange and Purple, the Tiger Mascot, and Clemson Cheers. We hope you enjoy our presentation. The first Clemson game day tradition we're going to talk about is Howard's Rock. Howard's Rock is named after Clemson's legendary football coach, Frank Howard. It is a white flint rock brought to Clemson from Death Valley, California, and was placed on a pedestal at the top of the hill on September 24, 1966. Before Clemson's football team played Wake Forest in 1967, Coach Howard asked his players to give 110% effort. They, if they did that, then they would have the privilege of rubbing the rock at the end of the game. The Tigers won the game 23-6, and now it's a tradition for the Clemson football players to rub Howard's Rock for good luck before running down the hill at each home game. Death Valley. Clemson Memorial Stadium was nicknamed Death Valley by the former coach at Presbyterian College, Lonnie McMillan. He would bring his teams to play at Clemson, where they rarely scored and never won a game. McMillan told journalists that he was going to play Clemson up at Death Valley because his teams always got killed there. The nickname stuck, and the stadium has been affectionately known as Death Valley ever since. Running down the hill. Running down the hill started with the football team running from the locker room through the gate of the stadium and down the hill onto the field at the start of the game. Today, it has been dramatized to be the most exciting 25 seconds in college football. Football team enters to the sound of your Clemson Tigers. A cannon fires and the band plays the Tiger Rag and thousands of, Clep of Clemson fans cheer as the Tiger football team runs down the hill onto the field. Orange, Purple, and the Tiger Walter Merritt Riggs formed Clemson's first football team in 1896. Riggs was a graduate of Auburn University and pulled his inspiration for Clemson's colors, orange and purple, and the mascot, the Tiger, from his alma mater. The first Clemson student to wear the Tiger mascot suit was in 1954, and 39 years later, in 1993, the Tiger mascot was joined to the Tiger Cub. Clemson's logo, the tiger paw, is the actual paw print of a real tiger with its signature hook on the bottom of the paw. Tradition states that the tiger paw must always be pointing to 1 o'clock in memory of the kickoff time of Clemson's first football game. In 1955, Clemson's band was officially named the Tiger Band. Clemson's original fight song, Tiger Rock, was written by Dr. Edward Jones Freeman in 1935. Clemson's fight song was revamped in 1942, and since then has been known as the Tiger Rag, the song that shakes the Southland. Every game day, the Tiger Band hosts the 90 minutes before kickoff concert, where they play all their traditional cheers and songs in Clemson's amphitheater. The band then leads a parade marching into Death Valley to excite the Clemson fans. Now I'm going to tell you about the Clemson University Rally Cats. Our Rally Cats dance team performs and keeps spirits high at Clemson athletic events. These dancers are most visible on the football sidelines and at men's basketball games. The Rally Cats support all athletic teams by making appearances at Solid Orange events, pep rallies, and also various campus events. There is also a Clemson University all-female cheerleading squad and a Clemson co-ed cheerleading squad. Both groups are talented, enthusiastic, spirited athletes. The team's performances focus on crowd-leading cheers, dances, tumbling, and stunts. Their main goal is to get the crowd excited and involved by getting them to join in on the cheers and chants. Clemson Tailgating. Clemson University is known for having one of the greatest tailgating experiences in college football. Family and friends gather with lots of food, beverages, and play traditional drinking games. The reason why Clemson Tailgating is so great is because of the spirit of the Tiger fans that fill the entire campus. Tailgating brings together both current Clemson students and alumni. Once a Tiger fan, always a Tiger fan. One of Clemson's most popular cheers is the cadence count. You can hear it roaring from the stadium every game day. We're now going to demonstrate this cheer for you. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. C L E M S O N T I G E R S. Fight, Tigers, fight, Tigers, fight, fight, fight. And now, the song that shakes the. 
the Southland Tiger Ray!